and welcome to the live stream whether you are joining live with me now or if you're catching us on the replay so in this video this is a canva tutorial i'm going to walk you through how to create your own this or that template or this or that graphics for your instagram stories using Canva. So this came through as a request from a subscriber. So this is evidence that I read your comments and I listen to you guys, and I'm going to walk you through how you can do it in Canva. So for those of you who ooh, don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen, and I help you grow your business using video on social media with ease. Now, whether you are live now, or if you're watching the replay, um, if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat in the comments and I'll get to them at the end of the live stream or um, after the replay if you're catching the replay. As usual, everything, um, all the resources that I mentioned in this video will be provided in the description. So all of the links are there today. So this is really cool. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you would know that I'm hideously, hideously inconsistent on Instagram. But um, if I was to be consistent, one of the things that I would do more often is to do a this or that. So this actually came through as a question from a subscriber. So they said that on Instagram, you can do a this or that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. And the, 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 the thing that um, this person asked was they weren't that keen or they weren't that crash hot on the templates or what was available from Instagram itself. So let's go over and have a look at that. Um, we're going to have a look at what it looks like natively within Instagram. And then I'll also show you how to create your own beautiful ones within Canva because as you know, I love Canva. Canva is a great tool because they're so easy to use and you can create beautiful designs without even needing to know how to really design anything. So let's go over to my iPhone this time. Haha, -ha. so this is my little iPhone and here, if you were to create um, a story, I'm going to hit the plus button and we're going to go to story. If you go to create, you'll see as you scroll along the bottom here, you've got lots of options, right? And um, you've got, this. you can ask a question and this is kind of one way to ask a this or that. So you could ask a question like pineapple on a pizza pizza yes or no type of thing but as you can see like you're kind of really restricted like in terms of the layout the color and the other thing we're creating using the Instagram app is that you can't schedule it really you kind of have to create it and then publish it right away so if you create it in Canva before you get to Instagram you can schedule it so that you're not spending 24 7 on social media because that's not healthy for you. <laughs> so this is one way of creating a kind of a question or a yes or no or a this or that. Um, the other one that you can do is you can use, oh, we'll go back one, the ask me a question, you know, like what do you prefer? And then people can actually um, tap and then the messages go directly into your inbox. I don't personally like that because I don't like messages in my inbox because it's hard to manage as it is, but it's another way of doing it. Um, and then, you know, you've also got this option here of, option one, option two. So you can kind of create little polls and these are great, as I said, but they're a little bit limiting, right? So I like them. I don't think they're bad, but I think we can do a little bit better and we can do that with Canva. So now with that said, let's go over to Canva now. So this is Canva. I'm going to add my window. Hold on. Ha, there we are. So now we are in Canva at the moment. And this is an example of a this or that that you can do as a story. So as you can see, it's, you know, you've got way more options to add text and you can change all the colors as well. You can also do something like this. So where, whereas you saw on the Instagram one, um, you're kind of limited in terms of the background colors and stuff like that. But with Canva, you can kind of add the images and the branding to be how you want it to be. So I really like that about um, Canva. And another example of, you know, the story where you can do a this or that is that you can kind of break it down and have more images as well. So you can go text or you can add more images and it really just gives you that flexibility, which is the great thing. So how do we get started? How do we do it within um, Canva? If we're, we were to start within Canva and this is the Canva homepage, what you would search for within Canva is literally this or that, right? Type in this or that, and this will bring up all of the templates that they've already pre-populated for you. And then you can go in and you can change the colors. You can go in and you can change 
pardon me, you can go in and you can change the text and you can change all of the images. But now what you can see is you've got so much variety and you've also got, which I really like, um, all of these different ideas. So they've laid out these food based ones because it's kind of an easy one, but you would just adapt it to whatever your niche is. So for me, being in social media and being in video, I would change it to be, you know, this or that. Would it be mobile live streaming versus desktop? Would it be, um, you know, whatever it is that you, you are in, you, you would simply change the text to be whatever you want it to be. And you, as you can see, they've got so many templates and you may be saying, well, I like the layout, but these colors aren't my brand colors. And that's okay because with Canva, you can always change the colors. You can change the fonts. You can add more text to make it um, look however you want it to look. And as you can see, there's so many, like I, I don't even know how many there are here, but literally if you used every single one, um, you would have plenty of you know posts for days, for weeks. So um, use all of these to get you inspired in terms of what you can actually do with a this or that and uh, you know you can you can go like this you can have it like more image based as opposed to text based and you can also you know make it like this one here in this middle here where it's you know a little bit more vector based as opposed to just text as well but that's just so easy to do so I'm going to pick a template um, just so you can see how simple it is um, let's pick this one I like this one here because it's clean it's you know nice all you would do is you would click on the template Doo -doo -doo. And this will open up the layout for you. And then you would change the text simply by clicking on the text box and then going through and then typing what it is, right, that you would choose. So for me, let's go pineapple, pizza. You would ungroup it. If you ungroup the elements, it gives you more flexibility to actually make the changes. Um, cheese pizza. Just go through and make the changes relevant to you. Um, and you would just simply change the text by, you know, clicking on the text field. You can add extra text by clicking on the text icon here. So if you click on that, you can add all sorts of text, not only just text in terms of, you know, a new heading, but they've also got these beautiful like font combinations. As you can see, there's like this neon look, which is really, really trendy at the moment. And they've got these, you know, block text type of things. So the possibilities really start to become endless in terms of how you can customize it to how you want it to look. So you simply click on the element to change it. And then if you wanted to add other things, let's just say I wanted to add a picture of a, pineapp a pineapple, I would go to elements, this section here on the left hand side, I would type pineapple, if I can spell. And then I could just simply add graphics to it, right? So you can start to customize it and make it how you want it to be like. Um, go, you know, go through, you can add your elements, you can upload your own images as well and you can add them to the graphic that way. So if you wanted to upload your own image, you would simply go to upload um, and then you would go to upload media and then you can choose an image from your um, computer. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And once it appears, I can then just click on it and add it to the actual um, image itself. So designing in Canva is really um, easy and everything, you know, you no longer need to um, have a design background or design qualifications in order to have some really beautiful um, graphics. So I've showed you how to access the this or that templates, play around with the text, add images, You've also got access to all of Canva's image library as well. So they're photos that you can have a play around with. In the element section here, um, you can search for whatever you need. So whether you need specific graphics that are vectors, whether you want, um, you know, you name it. All the different elements are here, shapes, um, different components, whatever it is, you'll be able to find it within Canva. And that's one of the beautiful things about them is that you don't have to go outside of Canva to design, you can find majority of the elements that you need within the actual user interface. And now once you finish your this or that design, all you would do is you would download it. So if you click on these three dots, you have the option to download it. You can download it as a JPEG, as a PNG. I'm going to go JPEG. And then when you click download, um, that will download the image as a graphic and then you would just upload that to your phone or you would add that to your social media scheduling tool, whether you're using later or whether you're using some other Instagram scheduling tool. Um, and then this graphic is kind of 
good to go and that's how you create a this or that. So it's as easy as that. Um, I wanted to make this tutorial quick so that you could see this is how you access it, this is how you find it, this is how you make changes to it and that um, basically is the this or that tutorial. So hopefully you now know how to go and create your own amazing, engaging this or that graphics using Canva. Um, if you check the link, check out the link in the description um, to my Canva link, you actually get Canva Pro for free for 45 days as a trial where the usual trial is 30 days. So if you want to use all of the, you know, premium elements and not pay for them for 45 days, by all means, <laughs> um, access it via my link and happy days. So that essentially wraps up the live stream today. Let me just go back over here. Okay. Um, thanks everyone for joining me on the live stream today. I hope you found it incredibly useful. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, where I do lots of tutorials on social media, on you know, creating your own graphics, on getting up and running with videos. So um, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't got it as well, make sure you grab a copy of my social media checklist. So I show you how to get up and running on all of the major social media platforms um, so that you can start leveraging the power of social media to start growing your business with ease. I'll put a link to that in the description as well as on the screen somewhere. As usual, thanks for joining me on the live stream today. I will see you on the next one and bye for now.